Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to unroll multiple arrays in single flatten step in Azure Data Factory. Uh, I'm going to put uh, the link uh, of my video that I made a few months back, actually a year back, uh, and uh, we had some issues there because uh, the flatten uh, uh, activity was not able to use multiple arrays in the same uh, activity. So have we had to use multiple uh, uh, flatten activities. Uh, so in the first activity, we flattened the first array, in the second activity, with the second array and all that. Now, when I was... Uh, Yesterday I was reading this, uh, just uh, making some uh, videos and all that, and all of a sudden uh, I was uh, checking the updates, um, and here I found uh, easy unroll uh, multiple arrays in Azure Data Factory data flows. Um, when I read the article, there is a, uh, you can see right there, and it tells you uh, it has uh, all that information right there, so you can take a look. Uh, but I thought maybe it is better for making a small, quick video that will help uh, somebody because it take me time to even understand and the snapshots and the, all the language we used here. Now we are here in Azure Data Factory and I have this blob storage. In the blob storage I have a JSON file called JSON test file dot JSON and now I'm going to show you the data in that one. So let's uh, click on edit button here and you can see this uh, first name, last name, location and then we have children. In the children uh, I have two items right there and th th then there's that second here. Then I have another array called the social media. You can see right there. So that's uh, multiple arrays are there. You know, I tried with some other um, nested arrays and all that. That works great. Uh, so pretty much the same pattern what we're going to follow here. You can follow in other uh, type of files. Um, well, let's go ahead and take a look here now. Now we go to the Azure Data Factory here. Go to the data flow. And here we are going to go and create new data flow. So here we are going to go ahead and uh, configure our source. Uh, click right there, add source. Uh, and now we are going to go to the data set. Uh, I'm going to go click new, click blob storage, hit continue, and then selecting uh, the type of file. Um, so I'm going to go for JSON. Here I'm going to do continue. OK, we can create the new linked service. Uh, click on new. And here uh, I will provide some information. Um, I'm uh, going to select my subscription. And then I'm going to select my blob storage. Um, all good here. Let's uh, test our connection and uh, we are going to create uh, our uh, linked service. Uh, link service is created. Uh, now we are going to go to the browse here and uh, go to the input uh, container. And here is my file uh, test JSON test uh, dot JSON. Hit OK. And uh, uh, from where you would like to import the schema from the connection slash store, that's fine. And I'm going to hit OK now. It's all done and uh, let's preview the data. Now if I try to preview, it's going to tell me like, hey, you need to start the debug data flow. Okay, fine. I'm going to go with a small compute size and one hour. So that's the minimum I can have. And then I can disable once I'm done with the demo. Okay, our data flow debug is all set. And uh, now we can preview the data again. I'm going to go and hit refresh button here and we should be able to see the data. Okay, I was expecting this error anyways because uh, we have to do some setting here. So now we go to the source options here and uh, as uh, we are going to go to the JSON setting and here it's not a document per line, it's array of documents. Um, so that's where you need to click here and go back to your source setting. Let's hit uh, pre preview, refresh and now it should be work just fine. All right, you can see my first name, last name, and uh, location. And then uh, what we have here, we have uh, children, and uh, that's array. And uh, you can click right there. I have children, child one, and then I have child two further. And uh, those are my values right there. Now, in the social media, I can click right here. You have social media one, two, three arrays, uh, you know. So in the, this array, we have more information right there. So what we are going to do, we are going to click uh, right here and bring flatten. Once we bring flatten, uh, it's uh, going to show us this uh, uh, options. So here I'm going to go ahead and uh, see right there, it is asking you unroll by. So before that, uh, if you remember, the we were only able to use one. Now I'm going to go ahead and say children here. And then uh, let me scroll this a little bit up uh, and uh, now Right here, I'm going to click on the Add button as well. Now, Add Column. And here, I'm doing the second array, so Social Media. 
So now you see that I have added children and I have added the social media to arrays right here. Great. Now I'm going to uh, go right down there. And uh, if you see right there, these uh, we can leave them as it is. I, but really, honestly, I don't need them. I can simply delete these guys. Okay. And now, under the children, if you remember that uh, I have, uh, now if I show you my file, so we had different uh, information, but even we can get from there as well, so we don't have to come here. So see right there, and children has a name and age. So if we go back here, now I can add a new column, add fixed mapping, and then uh, here I'm going to select. Uh, so if I will go here under the children array, I'm going to go select the name. Uh, and I can go ahead and name it, uh, rename the output column. I'm going to call this one uh, uh, child underscore name. See, okay. Now what we are going to do next, we are going to add another column here. And uh, that column, I'm going to just hit drop down button here, go to the children array and then use age. And uh, I can also rename here and say child age. Okay. Now, we did not use this uh, social media array in the any output yet uh, so what we are going to do we are going to click on add mapping add uh, fix column and here uh, at the end uh, i'm going to go ahead and select uh, uh, once i will hit drop down it's uh, giving me this drop down here now i'm going to go to social media array and then select a description uh, or a link uh, so depend whatever you want let's go and uh, select description and then uh, i'm going to add the final uh, column from the social media array to the output uh, so click right there and bring it all the way down there and you have a link uh, so now you see right here let's study these um so these guys are just came as is these were the columns uh, and now from the arrays uh, so we selected children dot name from the children dot age these are coming from uh, the children array and from social media array we have a uh, social media dot description and social media dot link uh. now you're all set you can go ahead and add the sync here and uh, you will be done let's preview the data and uh, i'm gonna click preview here and refresh and then we should be good to go and now you can see that uh, our uh, data is all flattened uh, and we have used only single uh, uh, flatten activity to flatten multiple arrays uh, so one was uh, our children array another was was uh, social uh, media array from where we have gotten these values uh. so for Amir the ch city's location and everything the first child and his age and then uh, his uh, other information such as uh, uh, the description and the link showed up here and then for the second uh, child uh, all that information is there so you can see right there so this was this is coming then that information for second child and then we have uh, this uh, social media information as well so that's uh, pretty much it i don't want to go ahead and add sync and waste uh, a lot of time here how to add sync because there are a lot of videos i already made so the main important point uh, once again i want to tell you guys these uh, multiple arrays you can add here and then uh, flatten them in the same uh, flatten activity and you have seen that how we did that uh, this is very helpful uh, and uh, as uh, there are a lot of uh, companies they are using JSON uh, as input uh, source uh, files uh, that, that this this was needed uh, you know and uh, I thank you for watching my videos please subscribe my channel and uh, I will see you guys in next video